everyone, my name is Miles Senpai, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new collab that just got released on Patch. So, I'm kind of excited for this collab, um, rerunning, because I missed it the first time. So, this is my chance to have, like, a, a chance to, like, get all the characters. So, this is good. So, with that out of the way, let's start with the first one. Well, actually, remember to like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers. I can't forget that. And also, I have uploaded a video on my second channel for the Fantasy Stallion, so make sure to go check that out if you haven't. So let me translate this to English. So, yep, new collab. So I'll go over their kits in a bit. First, I'm going to go through the whole update first. So here's already some tickets. Okay, the banner. Oh! Okay, so here's the banner. The banner's actually not bad. It's actually pretty good. Well, for me, because, uh, here's the thing. I, I, I mean, Raptalia, okay, I'm going to say this right now, but Raptalia is for free. So, uh, that's really good. So, we can get Raptalia for free. So, that's already two out of the six units that I, ha I can have already. I don't have Nafumi, Philo, and the two new units, of course. So that's good. I don't have the Christmas Roxy, so that's also good. I like that a lot. Um, I also, um, the Blue Shin, I don't have him either, or Green Hawken also, so that's good. And yep, 600 mark. Yep, so basically from the list, you can choose these units. So that's good. When you get to the 600 pity mark. Mm, okay, so that's that part. Let me go back. I know I went one to the same one. My mistake. This one. What do we have over here? So, okay, so the units. The first one is blue. The second one is green. So that's good. So basically we have another bird unit. The bird character, like a Philo. And then we have, uh, I, think her, I think I heard her name is Glass. All right. Uh, so we have we have two new relics for these uh, lovely ladies, but we'll, we'll go we'll go over after I get through the rest of the update. So more bundles. Mm. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is a new a new pack. Basically, so you can get a free, so you can get like a a, a Ratatosker relic right here. So that's good for anyone who wants to buy it. So there's a, okay, so, so the first two days you get uh, 30 tickets. So that's two free multis already on the banner. That's nice. Good job, Grand Cross. And yep, yep, Reptile is for free. Here's the missions you need to do to get another free multi. So that's good. They're bringing back this again, so that's good. Mm, okay, all right, here are the rewards, which is very nice. Hopefully they give out like a lot of relic boxes because, you know, I need to like get the relics for the other units if I pull them. All right, they're bringing this boss back, which is nice, you know, more uh, free stuff. So, all right, we get a relic box from this. That's nice. K uh, Kizuna and uh, Nafumi's outfits are here, which is nice because I didn't get Kizuna's outfits, and I think I did get Nafumi's, but I couldn't like I didn't have them, so I, I, I'm not sure. But there's another relic box there, so that's good. Uh, Tower of Trials is returning, so that's I mean a lot of rewards. There's a relic box on when you face King, so that's good. Mm, okay, so only one relic box. All right, here are the outfits for the first new character, which um, let me think. Okay, if I had to rate them right now, I would say the one on the top left, you know, the blue one is my favorite. <sighs> the one on the the bottom one is my the second favorite my the, the bird one i mean it's not bad but it's the least favorite they just like they just literally like only like change a little bit of detail on feel's outfit because you know feel also has this chicken outfit so not really you know, like really like freaking like there's not really like much different i mean there's some difference but not much so here is glasses outfits which i like the the one of the the one actually the one on the bottom is my favorite I like that one that's the ssr one so that's pretty nice and then the one on the right is my favorite second favorite and the one on the left is my least favorite all right 
and then Nafumi, I mean everybody from the OG collab, I mean fuck from the original collab when it first came out, got outfits. I like Kizuna's, that's really good. Uh, then right, and then Nafumi's looks interesting, but I like it. Then they're all good. None of them are bad. All right, then the OG outfits from when they first came out are back, which they're gonna be of course for money. All these outfits are gonna be for money except for the SSR outfits. Which Philo does have one, so I could probably buy that. And Reptalia's too. Uh, yeah, that's good, good. If I pull them. That's if I pull them. So uh, uh, here's like the like the login thing. like Not like login. Like if you spent this amount of, amount of gems, you can get this. I hate that it's making you like spend 900 gems just to get a relic box. That's really retarded. Or dumb. I'm sorry to say that, but why 900 gems if it's a 600 gem banner? That's stupid uh what else what else is there okay so you can like either choose one of these two for when you enter the game so that's good uh king is back mm, hawk pass oh gother already got a new outfit for hawk pass that's great there's his outfit i mean i don't have him so it doesn't really matter for me all right oh for for all the people who have gother yeah and then okay so the old characters got buffed so yeah i i heard that they're they're more way they're way, way more better or i saw that they're way, were way more better but i'll show you guys what they do later when i do the translations yep old characters got buffed that's good all right so that's all the update oh well, well, so i gotta get to the transitions first so I'm not, I'm not gonna like hop on to I'm not gonna like transition or anything. I have the translations like right here because I do not feel like trans translating or like, tr like transitioning to something else because I, all the other times when I've done it, freaking like, freaking, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like my, my screen goes black. I don't know, I don't know why. All right. Hold on guys. Um. All right, let me hop onto the translations right here. So, if I can move, well, because I have them on my laptop here. So, let's look at them real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Nafumi. So, what Nafumi does now: when the unit takes a stance, increase human allies' damage by thirty percent and decreases damage taken by forty percent for every human ally participating in battle. Increases the unit's HP by five percent. Uh, Reptalia is passive now. Removes condition if of if every ally the same attribute. So, I think I mean I think it, what it means is like remove debuffs for every ally with the same attribute. I'm not sure if I'm correct on that, but that's what I'm getting out of it. Because condition, I assume like debuffs. I don't I don't know, but if she removes something if you have like the same ally attributes. Uh, Philo's passive at the. At the start of the ally's turn, inflict debuff to all enemies and, and that decrease critical resistance and critical defense for one turn. All right, mm, let me see, what is this? Okay, I think this is for glass. I'm pretty sure this is for glass. For every unknown ally participating in battle, increase the unit's basic, basic stats by 7%. If an unknown ally uses a skill, apply one of the power, apply one stack of power of soul to the unit and if the unit uses a skill remove one stack of power of soul from the unit if for every power of soul removed from the unit increase pierce rate by 30 percent max 90 percent if the power of soul is fully stacked remove all stacked of power of soul and apply above that increases critical chance by 30 percent pierce rate by 150 percent for three turns so yep that's what that's what her uh but that's that's i think that's glass is passive i am not sure if i'm correct on that but i'm pretty sure Where's the units at? Hold on. Give me a second. Cause I'm trying to like... Oh, where are the units at? The new ones, not the old ones. Mm, okay, they're not here. Did I... Oh, I probably missed them. Hold on, hold on right now. You let me find them. Uh, where are they at? Oh my god. Actually, screw it. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Let me go back to the top. Okay, so... Her skill one's called Soul Steal, 475% of attack to a single target. Um, I think it's I think there's pierce rate in that, so 
for times two for every power of soul applied to the, the specific unit damage by 40 percent skill two is um pier is at a skill skill two inflicts pierce damage equal to 500 percent of attack to single target her ultimate applies applies a buff that increases basic stats by 30 percent for to all allies for two turns and inflict damage to six by 600 percent of attack to all target or probably all enemies that apply three stacks of power of soul to the unit her holy relic for every power of soul removed from the unit increases the unit's critical chance by 20 percent max 60. so uh, this is for glass so let me go to find for the other for the other bird i don't know her name i mean i i see i seen her name but i don't know what it's called or what's what's her name called i probably don't know how to say it either okay so here is i got the bird her passive is way too long like she has like a whole five paragraph essay buff passive an ally of an unknown race is given a 60 percent critical defense increase effect for one turn at the start of the battle and a queen authority is given for two turns only once it started the ally's turn for each uh, ally of the unknown race um, participating in battle all of your stats will increase by five percent also the damage you deal with your great with your guest gust skills increase by 50 percent and sharp claws are given to you with a number of enemies of the ally of unknown race infected inflicted critical damage to use skills during your allies turn if the shark card or the sharp claws you you given to you at the start of the turn at maximum duplication they will be Cancelled if you are given Queen Strike for two turns. Queen Queen Authority remove thirty, remove debuff effects critical rate fifty percent, damage dealt zero point three for every one percent remaining HP. Sharp clauses nullifies targets critical resistance by fifteen percent. Can stack up to three times. Uh, that was so long, man. Why did they make her passive so long? Like at this point, at this point they're, they're it's gonna be so big, man. Like it's not gonna be worth reading. All right, so her first skill is called Piercing Gate or Gale. For two turns, decreases a single enemy's critical defense by 80% and inflicts cutting damage equal to 500% of attack power. Uh, cut is critical rate increased by three times. And then her second uh, skill is Vicious Tempest. Gills Gust damage equal to 250%, 250% of attack power to all enemies. Gust the disables 30% of enemies' defense related stats, increases critical chance or critical damage by times two. Alright then, let's move on to her ultimate. Uh, her ultimate is called Descendant of the Queen. Give yourself three sharp claws. Give all allies the queen protection for effect for three turns and, and deal fatal damage to all enemies equal to 450% of attack. Uh oh 450% of their attack power. Queen Queen's Blessing attack related abilities plus 30% defense related abilities 13% fatal critical damage decreased by two times two. And then her relic for each sharp claw affected uh, attached to you, the damage you deal with a single target attacks and skill increases by 15%. So that's what that's what they all do. I'll, I'll probably like post on my um I'll probably post on my like on the community section like to have the translations if you guys want them there. But that's what all the new characters do, and the old characters got buffed. So, yeah, this collab banner is really good. I'm not gonna lie. And plus, they gave you like mostly like a free a free banner summon because like I mean half of it because they almost give like 300 out. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, I, I, I'm so excited for this banner. I am gonna summon on this because I missed the first time. So this is my chance to get like redemption I, i'm already gonna have two out of six of the units uh reptalia and uh, kizuna so that's good so i'm excited so uh, uh, that'll be for me guys and remember to like and subscribe We're trying to hit 500 subscribers and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace